Good afternoon. This is a little PSA. Uh, because somebody, uh, to my face crack uh, messaging, sent me a photograph of this. Don't worry if you can't tell what it is. Uh, in this orientation, I just, what the hell is this? A wrapped up bunch of duct tape. Um, couldn't tell anything. Now you turn it sideways and you see that it's on the end of a barrel. Apparently this guy in Vancouver uh, was uh, had this taken away uh, and uh, has been charged with the uh, possession of a prohibited uh, uh, device. Uh, that is a suppressor. And he's uh, messaged me asking for help. Now it started off with this photograph saying uh, that he wanted help and it's what the hell is this? Why are you sending me this? And he explains that he wants help and um, that uh, uh, he's been uh, arrested uh, charged uh, for uh, uh, having this device as a prohibited device. Um, I tried getting more information out of him uh, he seems to think that it's the same as a uh, uh, muzzle brake. Now I make muzzle brakes and they're not prohibited weapons. Uh, I make designs that are better than any of the ones in my opinion. They're certainly better than any of the muzzle brakes I've ever tried on any uh, other firearm of any sort. Um, but here's a quick one. This is not a muzzle brake. This is the uh, uh, flash eliminator from an M14 rifle. Uh, it is designed with these ports to dissipate the uh, flash uh, quickly and uh, makes it harder to see in uh, uh, dim light or such. Um, doesn't make it invisible. Daytime it's pretty much you can't see it. Uh, nighttime you'll still see some, but they're fairly effective in illuminating, uh, eliminating the flash. You see, if you don't have this on the end of your rifle and you fire uh, around, you get this bloom of fire in front, uh, which is very noticeable. These cut that down. Muzzle brakes don't necessarily do that, um, mainly because they poured it off. Uh, the purpose of a muzzle brake is to reduce recoil. Um, when a rifle, uh, well, when a gun uh, recoils, it goes up and back. The barrel always will lift up and back. Uh, the purpose of a muzzle brake, particularly my design, is to stop that. Uh, the way I've got the gas ports angled, it will actually push the barrel down as well as pulling it forward, thus cancelling uh, most of the recoil. This is one of the types of uh, uh, muzzle brakes I made. This was the first one I made out of stainless steel uh, for my 300 Winchester Magnum rifle. Uh, it has two chambers uh, where I bored in this direction and then bored in this direction so there's a baffle in between here. Um, this end piece, this is uh, red Loctited in there, that's a separate piece. Uh, this has gone through several hundred rounds and has not moved at all. It's extremely effective, a little bit heavy. So I built another one, somewhat lighter in a different design, um, playing with it. Now if you take this and wrap duct tape on around the end of it, it becomes a suppressor. It won't really suppress the sound very much, maybe a couple decibels, like that stupid thing on the end of the guy's barrel would, uh, barely re reduce it at all. But nonetheless, it modifies the sound and that makes it a prohibited device in Canada. You can't modify the sound. You can't knock the sound down without making it prohibited. Even if it's only five decibels, it's still 
a prohibited device in Canada, which is why uh, certain ones that are made, um, like this one, the original one for the Colt Delta, the original Colt Delta in Vietnam, they had a muzzle brake that, uh, okay, if you take this design, the first section covered up. So it's a blast chamber. Um, because of the shortened barrel of those, it needed it uh, to build up the gas to make the uh, gas system operate better. Uh, the uh, Russian uh, SKU-74 Krinkov, for instance, its muzzle brake is like that. Um, with the uh, American one in the Vietnam War, uh, it changed the sound of their uh, Colt Delta shortened M16s uh, to sound more like an AK-47 instead of uh, the 5.56 NATO round, uh, or 5.56 round as it was at that time. Uh, it became a NATO round years later. Um, but nonetheless, that would be a prohibited device in Canada because it alters the sound. With others of mine, uh, this is one for right-hand threaded VZ58. Uh, this is one design I did for uh, AR-15s. Um, they, they have no baffles in between. The only baffle really is the end, uh, which the ports shoot all the uh, gases out quite effectively, uh, totally kill the recoil of either rifle, um, and they do not alter the sound. In fact, many people believe, and I am constantly getting uh, this, that muzzle brakes increase the sound. Well, they don't do that either. Um, sound is, the way sound propagates, it, it does nothing. That, Muzzle brakes do not make them louder. They change your perception as to how it is. Um, and if you're hunting in a blind and your rifle barrel is inside the blind, you don't want to be using the muzzle brake because a lot of the gases are being gassed, uh, vented off right inside the blind. Um, I'm now uh, asking people when they uh, uh, have me build a muzzle brake whether or not they intend on uh, hunting in a blind because I had one old guy who uh, had me make a muzzle brake for his 300 Winchester short magnum rifle and he didn't tell me he hunted in a blind and so after hunting season he showed back up uh, told me how bloody loud it was and that he wanted a uh, thread protector so I made him a thread protector he still wanted the muzzle brake uh, for target practice, but, uh, uh, well, not wearing hearing protection uh, uh, while hunting, uh, it's going to be nasty on your ears. I didn't think of this because I no longer hunt, and I always wear hearing protection. Um, but that's what muzzle brakes do. They knock the um, recoil down. They do not alter the sound. This guy is nuts to put this on it on the end of a rifle. He's stupid as hell if he thinks that he could get away with it. Uh, it was obviously, no matter what he says, it was obviously a piss poor attempt at making a suppressor. I mean, the cops must have laughed at him when they tried it. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. It, it won't even work worth a shit. I mean, it won't. <laughs> but it's still a prohibited device. And, frankly, if you make something like that, you're not fooling anybody. You're trying to make a suppressor. And they're prohibited uh, devices in Canada. Whether they should be or not is a total other ball of wax. Um, but anyways, I thought I would uh, mention this because of this guy's silly idea that uh, his device uh, is anything like any muzzle brake or flash eliminator. It's not. It's nothing like that. Um, anyways, I hope this clears things up uh, and lets people know um, about how this works. Uh, you can ask me more questions or such uh, about it. Um, I do have to say, though, I mean, I'm not a professional. Uh, I'm certainly not a lawyer. Uh, 
I'm a talented amateur at best. Um, I know what I make. I know how what I make works because I test everything out first on my own uh, weapons, uh, firearms. Um, anyways, thank you uh, for listening to this if you've made it this far. And uh, have yourself a good day.